Micah Frankel, joined by Bellator 218, one half of the co-main event, and Lynn Vassell. Thank you for the time, sir. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm very good. How are you? I'm doing well. It's good to see you back in the cage. It's been 10 months since the last fight. Uh, how happy are you to be have to be getting back to action? Oh, I'm pumped, mate. Seriously. As soon as I got the, the announcement, I was screaming and jumping around. And I was like, I'm finally back in there. Nothing's worse than sitting on the sidelines and watching everyone go up the rankings and punching people up, seeing friends fight. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's great to actually be, um, be the one in there um, coming all next week. Won't be in the next week and actually doing a business. With that layoff, with how long it's taken, with you moving up to heavyweight, does it does the camp feel refreshing in some ways? Oh yeah, I haven't got cut no weight, man. <laughs> it's so refreshing. I ain't got cut no weight whatsoever. Eat, drink, do what I like in, in, in a tent, you know. Um, so yeah, it. It's different. It's different. It really is. How has the uh, strength and condition program been affected by this weight class change? Oh, it, uh, oh it's amazing. It's crazy because I thought I was strong at light heavyweight. So I just can't wait to show the people, man. Seriously, I thought I was strong at light heavyweight. And that's cutting weight and obviously, you know, um, depleting myself a little bit in a, like a ten week camp. Seriously, um, yeah, I, I, I haven't got words to explain how excited I am and, and the difference that you will see March twenty second. And back to what you said earlier, I also thought you were a very strong light heavyweight. That's what I mean. And the stuff I did light heavyweight, I, I can't wait. I can't wait heavyweight. Seriously, I'm actually getting excited right now talking about it. Is it also, could you talk a little bit about the feeling, how it is throughout camp, well, not depleting yourself, because you're not lower in the calories, as you said, and I think yeah. that's got to be a, a giant part of how you feel daily. It, it really is, because where before, round about now, I probably wouldn't be eating dinner. I'd, I'd, well, I'd be eating dinner, but I'd be having, like, chicken and some spinach, where, you know, I'm going to go and cook some chicken, some rice, potatoes, and then add some what, what spinach, whatever one after. So it's so refreshing to actually go to bed with a full belly and feel good, because carbs make you feel good. Um, so that's that's so refreshing to be able to, you know, um, eat carbs um, after a hard day training as well. Um, where before, you know, obviously I've, I've depleted myself, feeling all tired, can't eat this, don't want to talk to no one. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a totally different camp um, compared to what I've been used to over the last 50, 14 years, really. And have you felt it just in the sense of also not getting those little nicks and bruises? Because I've also seen that, I think, guys, like it, you just kind of end up getting injured when they're more depleting themselves. Yeah. I, I, I remember uh, cutting weight get to the gym and I can't train because I've been dieting and maybe didn't have enough salt or enough sugar or something or my body's a little bit lower than it should be. Um, so yeah, I haven't, haven't had any of that, you know, just been keeping myself obviously safe. You, you do get niggles and stuff from training, but other than that, they're just the normal rather than me walking down the stairs or something being a little bit too, too light at a set, set point and then be hurt for, for like a couple of days. So I've been able to train. I've been smart. If you want to take a day off, I've been able to. You know, not for injury, just purely because I feel like I need a day off or something like that. So it is so refreshing um, that I can do that. Um, I feel like this is where I should be for a long time. Um, and I'm glad that um, I'm finally there now. Do you feel like you're a heavyweight? Um, I'm walking around about 246, um, and it, it is different. I actually feel good, you know what I mean? I, I feel good. I feel like a heavyweight. It's crazy um, how, you know, putting a few pounds on can make you actually feel 
different in yourself as well. So yeah, um, life's good. Um, life's good. Life is good. And then looking at the fight. At least you get a warm welcome back, a good opportunity. It's a co-main event spot. I know, I know. Crazy how, you know, my last fight was against Phil, but it was like the second fight on the main card. You know, obviously, um, and he was a former champion. So it is a very big, warm welcome um, to be fighting on the co-main. I didn't think I was going to be co-main. I thought maybe, you know, mid, mid, middle, middle of the main event or something, maybe the third fight on. Um, so yeah, um, I'm excited to, to put on a show um, in, the, in the co-main. And then talking about that fight, Valentin Madovsky, a guy that you have quite a bit of in-ring experience over. What do you think of this matchup? I, th- I think it's, sorry, pardon me. I think it's a perfect matchup for me. Again, he's like on a tear right now. He's obviously just won his last two fights in Bellator. You know, um, he's, he's a, I say he's a beast, man, to be honest. You know, he hits hard. He's got good sombo. Um, but he's, he's not ready for me. That That's, that's the difference. You know, he's a tough opponent for me, but he's not ready for me. Um, so I think it's a perfect matchup for me um, to introduce me to the Bellator um, heavyweight category. Uh, in specifically, where do you feel you're going to have the biggest advantage in this one? I, I, I feel all over. I know, I know he's a sombo uh, wrestler, but it's just MMA. So I feel like my ground, my ground game, bottom and top. I'm not on the bottom at all. You know, um, my, my top top ground game is heavy. Um, if I'm on top, I'm pretty much finishing the fight. Um, my striking, you know, even even better now at heavyweight. Um, I've got them extra pounds on me now. Um, so when I kick and punch. People know about it. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like all over. And that's not being cocky. Um, that's just being confident. So I really do feel like I've, I've, I've got the advantage here. They just had the heavyweight Grand Prix. So you had a lot of contenders. And they kind of took each yeah. other out. How wide open do you see this division? Well, I, I just see it wide open for me to go in there. And, um, you know, um, and, and beat the people that, that they put in front of me. Um yeah, it was interesting as well to see the matchups um, for people winning, obviously losing them, and and, and, and what. Um, so yeah, um, I'm excited to, to get in there and um, you know face these guys um, after obviously after I, I, I get through um, Valentin. Was it just a matter of time before you made this move? Did the the did, did the layoff have anything to do with it? What was the the biggest reason for you jumping up now to heavyweight? Um, well, I, I, did, I did always say, uh, you know, um, I was going to go up to heavyweight at some point. Um, I, I think I may even said it a couple of fights before Ryan Bader. Um, and I felt like it just made sense. I'd lost two fights, um, once against Ryan, one against um, Phil. You know, obviously two, two top guys. And the weight cuts just got a little bit harder. So, it, it you know, it sort of made sense. And I said to myself, after this last fight I had with Phil, um, I was like, I'm not doing this again. You know, I just think, after a while, it just, it just, you know, me, I was like, I can't be doing this weight cut no more. It's horrible. I don't like feeling like that. I feel, don't feel like anyone should feel drained and that before a fight. I know it's what everyone does, um, but, you know, um, I said to myself, I'm not going to do this again. Um, and, yeah, it came to, obviously, um, for me to make a decision, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go heavyweight. So I told my manager, look for me a heavyweight fight, and that's, that's where we are now. All right, nice, nice. And you brought it up, the last one was a loss to Phil. Don't want to touch on that too much, but for you, what was it like, that experience, Bellator 100, 200 there in the UK? Oh, it was amazing. You know, I was just fighting in front of my, my friends, family, my, my countrymen, you know, I'm in my hometown. It's amazing, man. I love fighting back home. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll be back there again whenever um, Bellator's there again, man. I want to be back there um, also. I love fighting all over the world, but nothing beats fighting back home. And for this fight camp, where have you been at? Um, hard Knocks. At my, at my, um, my MMA gym. Not my MMA gym, but at my gym. Where I live in Florida. 
Um, and I've been training at Hard Knocks. Um, with Henry Husk, my main, my main, my main, my main MMA coach, Greg Jones, um, Cami Bazzotta, um, and Corey Peacock. Awesome, awesome. Uh, adjusting to Florida life. Oh yeah, I love it. I've been here three years now, only three and a half years. It's it's where I should have been from the start. I love it here. Training partners are amazing. The gym's amazing. The weather. Yeah, it's, it's where, where I need to be. We know you're excited for, for the performance. What do you think are going to be some down. keys coming up to getting the victory at Bellator 218? I, I just feel like I'm going to impose my will. I really do. I, I, don't, I don't think he's going to realize how big and how strong I really am. Um, I, I, like heavyweight people have seen me. Um, and again, um, they, haven't, they haven't seen me now. They haven't seen me now. I'm, I'm, I'm a new, I'm a new guy, man. Seriously, um, it's, it's crazy because at light heavyweight again, I, I thought I was strong, and, and you know, I, I, I had a good, good few wins over some top boys. But I just feel so different, so much more confident, stronger. You know, it's quite a start. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to it, and I feel like I'm gonna have the, the advantage in all aspects. My reach, height, power, strength. Um, you know, I've, I've, got, I've got more experience than him as well. So I feel like we're asking to play, play a factor. It's next Friday night, Bellator 218, Paramount yeah. to the yeah. Zone app. I'm looking forward to this one. Linton Vassell, was there anybody that you needed to thank, shout out to? Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, all my team at Hard Knocks 365. Obviously, my friends, family, loved ones. You know, I mean, all my supporters, thank you very much. All my sponsors, um, obviously, I couldn't do it without you guys. I appreciate the love and the support. Um, so I'd like to give a big shout out to all my sponsors Muscle Farm, Eating Sixers, Parker Book and um, Beaumont, Bassel's Beauty, Higher Booster, Defense Dope, Headblade, Gordon Nutrition, and Canavate. And Dr. Richard Davison's Chiropractic. And could you also tell everybody how they can keep up with you on social media? Yes. Um, if, you can, if you want to follow me on either Twitter or Instagram, it's LDV underscore The Swarm. Awesome, sir. Appreciate the time so much. Thank you for it. Cheers.